In this section, we introduce security interest. We begin by discussing what is a security interest. From there, we cover issues of attachment of a security interest, perfection of the security interest, and then ultimately the priority of secured parties uh, holding a security interest. From there, we jump to security interest in land or real property. We talk about the public filing requirement to record an ownership in property. We talk about the role of the mortgage in uh, financing the purchase and securing uh, the purchase of uh, collateral, that is real estate. We talk about the foreclosure process when a debtor fails to make uh, payments on the mortgage. Uh, we talk about the redemption rights of the debtor against whom foreclosure has been executed and we talk about deficiency or the ability of the secured party to seek a deficiency judgment against the debtor. From there we talk about deeds of trust or security deed arrangements and we talk about land sale contracts. From there we move to personal property. We discuss attachment within the context of personal property and the requirements of a written agreement value and possession for valid attachment. We also talk about perfection and the requirements for perfecting a security interest either through filing, through possession, through control, or in some situations automatic perfection of a security interest. We introduce the concept of a purchase money security interest and how it works and we talk about the temporary automatic perfection that applies to purchase money security interest and certain other uh, scenarios and then we talk about the grace period allowed for an individual with a purchase money security interest to continue perfection of that security interest beyond the short statutory period provided. From there we jump to the concept of priority and we talk about the priority of security interest or secured creditors claims to the collateral that's securing the debt. We talk about uh, the priority with regard to first to file your security interest. We talk about the priority of individuals who hold a purchase money security interest versus those who simply uh, filed for security interest outside of the purchase money context. And then we talk about liens and how they fit into the secured creditor uh, scheme or regime. Uh, we talk about the protections of a buyer in the ordinary course um, who purchases um, a land or uh, collateral subject to a security interest um, and what protections exist for the buyer if they meet the requirements to qualify as a buyer in the ordinary course of business. We talk about the shelter principle as an additional protection to a purchaser of collateral that is used to secure a loan and then we talk about uh, the rules applicable to fixtures and how uh, that applies within the uh, secured uh, loan collateral context. So collectively, this is an overview of security interest and secured transactions.